Hey, what is up you goons? Right here, right now, I am going to give you my five favorite movies of 2014. So let's get started, but before let's get started, well, I'm gonna give you my stink bomb of the year. So it's not gonna be the worst movie of the year, but it's gonna be my most disappointed movie of the year. And my most disappointed movie of the year is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So this movie, I was anticipating a lot, and I went to theaters, saw it on 3D with friends, and I thought this movie really stunk. I mean, I was, I liked it a little when I first saw it, but when I second time I see it, yeah, it's where I get a lot of out of it, and it just was a big disappointment. Three villains were messed up in this movie, I think, and it just really was a disappointment. I like The Amazing Spider-Man, the first one, with Andrew Garfield. I like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Peter Parker, probably a little uh, meh, but yeah, I like him as Spider-Man. And boy, yeah, North Korea hacking to Sony, they really want Spider-Man to go back to Marvel. Isn't that what it's all about? Now here are my honorable mentions, and first I got Mockingjay, then I got Edge of Tomorrow, and Interstellar. Three of these I did like, but not as much as five that I really liked this year. So let's get to those five. And the first we got is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This one, yes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was the first one, and it was a really good movie with James Franco. This one doesn't have James Franco, but it still does have Andy Serkis as Caesar, and Caesar was the integral part of this movie. I mean, James Franco was in the first one, Caesar was in the second one, and yes, this one had a lot of action, a lot of good storyline in this movie, and it just really played out well with the dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and I'm really looking forward to the third one when it comes into theaters, I don't know when, but it was a really good movie of this year, and Andy Serkis, I mean, he could be an Oscar candidate for this role, who knows, they are trying to get him that Oscar nominee for this role, but who knows if he gets that. Something he doesn't deserve it, but I think he kind of does because he really played him well. And yes, this one was a really good movie. If you've not seen it, see it because it's just like a really well done movie. Fourth, I got X-Men Days of Future Past. X-Men Days of Future Past brings back Brian Singer as X-Men director. Yeah, he directed the first two and he directed this one. Oh, pretty well indeed. This one was a fantastic movie. It was, you got huge happy. You got a lot of stars in this movie. Then you got Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, Jennifer Lawrence, all really playing integral parts of this movie. And it was really well done. I think it's the second best X-Men movie of all time. And it was, yeah, really well done movie. X-Men Days of Future Past, it like, of course, like integrates the future where, yeah, the Sentinels are taken over with the past where the Sentinels are, yeah, they come into order, and that's when it's gonna happen, and that's where Hugh Jackman has to stop it. I'm going too far in the movie, but yes, see it if you have not, because it is really, really good. Let's go into Marvel for number three, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. So the first Captain America, I thought it was, yeah, it's a good movie. I mean, yeah, it got you ready for the Avengers and stuff. Now this one, well, oh, this one was a really badass thriller of a movie. I think it is the best Marvel standalone movie of them all. I think it topped Iron Man. And it just has a really good storyline, almost like a spy thriller from the 70s. Yeah, I don't know much about the 70s spy thrillers because I wasn't alive by that time. But that's what I've heard. And it is a really well done movie. Chris Evans plays Captain America really well. Then you got Robert Redford playing a big role. Samuel Jackson plays another big role. Scarlett Johansson, of course, and then Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier, a menacing, stoic villain who is just really well done by Sebastian Stan, who was in the first Captain America movie. And this one really was done well. Well-directed movie by the Russo brothers who did a community on NBC. And you didn't think they were gonna do this one well, but it was done well. And if you have not seen it, it's probably, I gotta say, the best Marvel Stanley movie. As I said, some may not think so, but I think it is really well done. And a lot of secrets revealed in this movie, of course, of one organization that, 
Yeah, you gotta heal too, I guess. So yeah, Captain America, the Winter Soldier is three on my list. And now let's go to number two. And number two, I have Gone Girl. Gone Girl, yes, with Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike. And Rosamund Pike was just fantastic in this movie. I can't go deep into it because it's gonna go into spoiler territory. But if you haven't seen it, I think this is a thriller of the year. It was just a well done movie by Brian Fincher who directs his movies really well. I really like Fight Club. But this was a thriller. You go into this movie, you don't know what's gonna happen if you have not read the book. And I didn't read the book at all and it was just a thriller to me. I didn't know what was gonna happen next. You're just guessing what is going to happen. And yes, it's a really fantastic movie. If you've not seen it, well you probably gotta rent a DVD when it comes out. But, alright, buy it. Buy it for sure because I'm going to see it again. And I want to see it multiple times. It was a really good movie. It also stars Neil Patrick Harris. You got Tyler Perry in it as well. So now for my favorite movie of the year. And let's go back to Marvel. And of course, I'm going to have Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, a comic that no one really heard of. Even the comic book nerds didn't really know that much about Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, Marvel is a big risk of putting this on the screen and it really paid off because this was the biggest box office movie of the summer. Holy crap, was it a fun watch. And yes, Chris Pratt of course in the key role as Star-Lord. Then he was Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista in really, probably his first big role of all time. Then he had Bradley Cooper voicing Rocket Raccoon and, and then everybody's favorite talking tree Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel, it really was a well done movie with a lot of fun elements in it. It just really was well done. The villain may be a little bit, uh, and eh, Marvel villains aren't that strong. This one wasn't as strong as well, but it still was a great movie. And you get to see Thanos in the movie, but yeah, these characters are very like, lovable, of course, especially like Groot and Rocket, Star Lord. Like Chris Pratt brought his stuff to Star Lord and it really worked well. And it's a fun movie to watch here. If you've not seen it, well, yeah, like all these films, see it because it is a really fun movie. It's really fun to watch multiple times. And I've seen it about like three or four times now. And it is a really fun movie. So, yes, and Guardians of the Galaxy, I mean, yeah, second one comes out in a couple years. And yeah, I'll anticipate that when it comes out. And this is my favorite movie of the year. I didn't expect it to be my favorite movie of the year, but it is. So, yeah, really fun to watch. So, what are your favorite movies of the year? Guardians of the Galaxy, is it in there? Gone Girl, is it in there? Any of these movies, is it in there? So, yeah, tell me down below in the comments if you want. And you can check out the rest of my channel for more movie reviews and TV reviews as well. And yeah go there subscribe if you haven't already you don't have to if you don't want to but you could and i would like you to so until next time you goons i will see you folks later i am out